the Hartlepool monkey is an urban myth, uh, and the basic premise of the urban myth is that in the Napoleonic Wars, uh, a French warship was washed up on the shores of Hartlepool, having been shipwrecked by a storm, and all hands on board were uh, lost, except for the ship's mascot, which was a chimpanzee dressed in full French naval uniform. And the people of Hartlepool, having never, having never seen a, 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 a Frenchman before, assume that this chimpanzee is a Frenchman, and the uh, pandemonium ensues in the, in the town and they decide to put the chimp on trial to find out if it's a French spy or not. It's perfectly obvious where this chap's from. He's French! Hey. <gasps> the thing that really resonates with me is that it is a piece of folklore and it's a sort of piece of strange, uh, archaic history. Um, it's a comedy, first yeah, and foremost. A dark, com a dark comedy with a sort of anarchic underbelly. It's uh, funny, absurd, political, I think, actually, and also very theatrical. We've got a puppet as a central character, so it'll be really visual, uh, very storytelling led. So um, uh, actors will be coming out of character and giving you story, delivering stuff in a very sort of handcrafted, uh, poor theatre aesthetic. We sort of build up scenery and scenes in front of people and break it down again. We're talking about um, stuff being hoisted up into the air, so it's sort of got that kind of port, kind of naval feel to it. <laughs> <laughs> Get off! <laughs> then we join forces uh, with Carl and with Adam. And this is our second outing with our composer Adam. Between him and Carl and us, we've been composing these sea shanties which sort of like move the story along a bit, a little bit. The characters either sing them to drive the narrative forward or occasionally they sing them to reflect on their own kind of understanding. So functioning like a sort of traditional musical, but with that kind of folk background. It's been fascinating watching Finn and Toby trying to develop this character and, and, and write this character. You know, he's not a kind of Disney character or a cartoon. He is actually, we're, we're playing him as if he is real. He has to be this uh, kind of rogue element, actually, in the story. His hands are gloves. And feet are gloves. So actually, he's got incredibly expressive hands and feet. Um, it allows him to grip onto stuff and move around the stage in a really unusual way that we've never seen before, so we're really excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story about a community that was driven to the point of uh, hysteria, really. Um, that's just something I'm kind of interested in and look around and see <laughs> communities being driven to the point of hysteria. Fun job. Come on. Who sent you? So it explores kind of xenophobia and, and fear of the outside and the unknown, and at the same time, our kind of our ability to overcome that. It feels exciting to be able to look at such kind of heart-eating issues and see how any different number of people are affected by the same thing. The reality is that it's not a story specifically about Hartlepool, it's a story about communities that feel isolated and because of that isolation they sort of develop a sense of us and them. And it means the audience have a sort of have a way into this story of being a sort of foreigner on unwelcoming shores by having the sort of monkey's point of view. I think it's going to be a, quite um, an intimate and intense piece for, for young adults that hopefully doesn't pull any punches. It's actually quite challenging, I think, as a piece. We're going to make something that's really fun, that's really accessible, that's really engaging, but will really start people asking questions that I really think need to be asked. It is a piece of absurd entertainment which has um, deep resonances for now. So we've done two R&D phases so far, one about the puppets, one about the story, then we've had a writing week, run halfway through our second draft, um, and so, you know, we're kind of ready and raring to go and take the show on the road. To the light, the fisherman hung the monkey, oh.